Ladies and gentlemen, the summer blockbuster you've all been waiting for has finally arrived. Welcome to Lawn Mowing Simulator. That's right, baby, dude. I'm actually really excited for this game. You guys may have seen we reacted to the announcement, like, reveal trailer a couple of months ago, and uh, it's finally here, kind of. It's, it's in early access, so the full game's not here. Only have a couple of mowers to choose from and, and a couple of contracts, but it's going to allow us to kind of, you know, wet our beaks a bit. I guess you could say we're going to be dipping our toes in the grass and uh, let's uh, let's see what it's all about. So they actually, I mean, even though it's just a demo or like a preview, they've got some of the career mode here. Let's play with tutorials. So in this mode, you're going to create your lawn mowing company and build up its reputation. As you expand your company, you can hire employees, purchase more mowers and unlock contracts. But first, your company needs setting up with the name, logo, and uniform. Interesting enough, fun fact, I actually did have a lawn care company back in the day. I say company. It was in like middle and, and early high school, especially before I got into YouTube. I think I had like 15 to 20 yards, something like that. Did uh, mowing in the summers and, and snow shoveling in the winters up in Illinois. So here we go. All right. So company name, obviously important. You're going to want to have something memorable, something people notice that stands out. Have like a cool graphic on the side of your, your trailer. I'm going to say we, we like to, to mow, hoe, and blow. Ah, shoot. Oh, wait. Maybe we can do an ampersand. Mow, hoe, and blow. There it is. All right. Beautiful. Definitely very memorable. Company logo. Ooh, okay. Going to be able to choose from different logos here. What do we feel like matches with us the best? I kind of like this. It's, it's a little abstract, but it looks nice. Okay, so we've got that. Edit our player here. You can customize your in-game appearance. Okay, this is this is solid. So our player name, definitely gonna go with Trevor. Avatar, we've got a bunch of different avatars we can choose from. So there's quite a bit of customization here. I'm gonna say this guy probably looks the most like me. Avatar 5, gonna be able to change his hat into whatever colors we want. I kinda like the black there, that looks pretty good. Logo placement, let's go front and back. We've got um, uniform colors. Ooh, we could change our colors. Okay, I like this. So I'm thinking maybe something something kind of green. It's like, that's not bad. We want it a little bit lighter though, because I mean, we're going to be out in the sun a lot. Something that's going to complement the, the the other green colors we have well. Ooh, see, something like that's not bad. So I'm, I'm going to go with that, that bright green for a primary and then like a black secondary. It kind of bleeds with the logo a bit, but I think we're going to be okay. All right, looks good to me. I think we're good to go. Happy with the, the setup? All right, test drive. Now you have a company of your own. You'll need your first vehicle to get cutting. Select a vehicle from the list below to take it for a drive. So we've got the Styga Estate 2084H or the Knight OFS1. I mean, that thing's pretty sick. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and let's let's test drive this bad boy. All right, just starting off with the big boy. Not not push mowing or anything, just gonna get right into it. All right, familiarize yourself. Got the WASD and we can look around. Hello, beautiful. All right, look at this bad boy. Got a little, little trailer here. Nothing too fancy to start things off, but hey, it'll get the job done. So let's go ahead and get on the vehicle. All right, so we're gonna be able to hold Z to start this thing up. Listen to that girl purr, that's what I'm talking about. All right, use I and T to change the throttle setting. So we're gonna be able to be able to change our, our throttles here up to 3000 RPM down to 100. So let's get it up to 3000 RPM. Use Q to lower and raise the cutting deck. Nice, so we're gonna leave it up for now because we're not in the grass yet. And then W to accelerate, S to brake and reverse, and then E and C to change the cut height. So if we do Q to put that down, then we can do E and C to change our, our cut height, I guess. Interesting, okay, let me bring this back up. Looks good to me. So let's head out here and see what we've got going on. Get out into the grass. So then we're gonna wanna engage with Q. What kind of a height do they want us at? Cut height two and three quarters. Do you want us higher or lower? Maybe like one and a half, one inch, one and a quarter. Should we try this? Are we cutting? Do we have to do something? I don't think we're... It doesn't look like we're cutting. How do we... We got to engage it? How do you engage it? Engaged. Ah, we're cutting, fellas. That's what I'm talking about. Look at us go. You're cutting at the wrong height. Okay, so maybe maybe up a little bit. I'm going to say maybe like one and a half. You're cutting at the wrong height. I have no clue what they want us to cut at, but I'm, I'm just... I'm going to keep on digging, baby. Overloading the engine. Slow down. Or increase your cut height. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna increase it then. Let's let's go up to one and three quarters, two inches. I don't know what 
a height this this you know establishment wants us to cut at but we're just we're just gonna get some practice in here this is a test drive after all so even if we blow the engine we're gonna be okay obviously when we're on a job we're gonna take it a lot more seriously this is pretty cool i like that this is extremely satisfying look how this thing moves it's like the back half kind of moves separate from it. It's, it's got almost like a Halo Warthog style or something like that. This is nice. Okay. I'm, I'm liking this one, but I'm going to say let's let's go try the other one as well just to see what's up. So this is a little more traditional here. We've got a, a Stiga, Stiga. Sorry, man. I'm, I'm you know, not full full dad mode yet. I don't really know these things. So we're going we're gonna to start this thing up with Z again. Let's see. We've got I and T to change the throttle. T is going to put it in drive, basically, only up to 2,400 RPM. Of course, we're going to be able to drive off this. E and C to change the cut height. Thinking they're probably going to want it around two. And then Z to engage and disengage the blade. So we don't have the, the lifting thing to worry about. This is, is just straight up always, always active. So it looks like we're at the wrong cut height. How do we know what cut height they want us at? I'm going to go up to three and three and a quarter maybe. I'm sure on an actual contract it'll tell you. But here I'm, I'm not sure. Interesting. So this thing's not bad. I do feel like it's probably the cheaper option. It's probably where we should start. We probably shouldn't have the biggest, best, most badass mower to start things off, but we'll see what the prices are looking like. So it looks like we, we've got $3,000. This thing is going to cost us $2,150. This thing is going to cost us $2,750. I mean, I'm going to get the, the really cool one. Okay, there's a contract map where you can see available contracts to select and start. Now your company's set up. You have a mower. Select the contract button at the bottom of the map and open it for setup. Okay, so we got the front garden at the Old Nook Cottage. The information about it. So we want to have a 99% cut completion. It's a general cut. One inch to two and a quarter inches. So large, large, you know, amount there. Ground check time limit four. Recommended cut time 26. Deck width 39 and a quarter. Current range is about five to seven and three quarters. So I'm going to say let's cut it around around two inches. We're going to make 330 bucks for it and 50 reputation points. All right, I'll uh, I'll do it and sign myself to go do it. We're going to use our uh, new mower we just got and uh, here we go. Go ahead and start the contract. So this is going to be kind of cool. As we build up, we're going to be able to buy more mowers. We're going to be able to hire employees and we can do like the big fun jobs that we really want to, but then we can also hire our employees to go make us money and, and do stuff for us. So we're going to be careful here. Obviously, some nice landscaping. Not going to want to, uh, to mess any of that up. Ooh, we've got some debris in the yard. Watch out for the little little pruner thing there, the little snippers. Ground check phase. At the start of each contract, you have a small period of time to find and remove any objects in the grass area that could either be damaged or damage your vehicle. Choose to skip the ground check and have objects automatically removed by interacting with your mower, but this will mean you don't earn money or RP. Interesting. Okay. Oh, she's got a Porsche in the garage and this old school. Bro, what? This is a quaint little house. I like this. Okay, let's go over here. Little ground check. Got to keep an eye out. We know it was on that back side. Oh, oh, oh. What is this? Pick up a tennis ball. Okay. I like that it kind of pops up and shows you. So we've got four minutes for a ground check. Got an old rusted pair of, you know, gardening tools there. Going to check all the way over here. I think there's another set of gardening tools somewhere over by the bench, I'm pretty sure. I like this ground check idea. Never really thought about that. I I'm, I'm sure lawn, lawn people really have to focus on that. Okay, ground check's complete. Return to the trailer and unload the vehicle to start cutting. This looks like a pretty simple yard for 330 bucks. Let's be honest, they look... They look pretty loaded. It, it seems like a lot for 330 bucks. A, a, a very lit, like 330 is a lot for this. Ground check complete. Let's go ahead and get it going. All right, so we're going to start this thing up. We said we were going to have the cut height at about two inches. So let's go ahead and set. We want to put our, our throttle up. How do we do the throttle up again? Oh, shoot. I already forget. It's T and I. So T is going to bring us up to, to speed there. We've got E and C to be able to adjust our height. I'm going to bring it. Bring it down to two. We're going to be able to use Q to lower the deck and then Z to start cutting, baby. So let's bring it around here. It does look like we've got different angles too, so we can, you know, kind of set this up in first person if we like. So I'm going to go ahead and drop our deck here. We're going to go ahead and engage the blades and let's start going. Your performance during cutting will affect how much money and reputation points you earn. Find the balance between speed and careful driving, avoiding damage in the flowers or lawn while cutting quickly for a time bonus. All right, off we go. This is pretty great. I'm thinking let's, let's, oh, oh, be careful here. Let's get, let's get the edges first and then we can start getting some nice straight lines going for the rest of it. Dude, this, I mean, this is, this is pretty cool. Uh, I'm, <laughs> I'm actually really gonna enjoy this. 
<laughs> this is about the chillest game I think you could ever play. We've, we've played some chill games in our time on this channel, but I think this might might take the cake. I've uh, genuinely always enjoyed mowing lawns. I don't do it anymore just because I don't have the time for it. I would like to, but I'm always out. Not out. Always in recording videos. So, you know, if I could get a few videos done or if I could mow the lawn, obviously the videos are going to take priority. But I genuinely used to really, really love it. This is going to get a little bit sketchy. We're really going to have to learn this, uh, this mower. Oh, sorry about your little pergola thing here. Your little arch. Oh, oh, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, ma'am. Let me get here in first person. Might help a bit. Just, just a little, a little savage. But yeah, I, I enjoy it. I like it a lot. Um, just don't, don't really have the time for it anymore. There's time better used elsewhere. Try to get all this. I mean, it's, it's not gonna be perfect. Do we have like a weed whacker we can use or something? That might be helpful. Oop, oop. Into the flower beds a little bit. We're okay. So we made one complete pass. Be careful not to hit the bricks. We should be good if we're up at two inches. We should be all right. Okay. So, first pass there. Obviously, it's it's going to be far from perfect. I'm trying to find... Ooh, here we go. This is kind of a nice angle. I'd love to get down a little bit more to be able to see it a little bit better. I'm trying to find, like, a cool design. Maybe we just start off with, with straight up, straight lines to start off here. Eventually, we could do little things like, you know, baseball style, do little diamonds and stuff. But I think the idea is we, we get this done as quickly as possible. The quickest way would probably be to just keep doing it the way we were and just keep hitting uh, circles around the entire lawn. I'm just going to... I'm going to do things differently. We're, we're, we're not going to make a whole lot of sense here. We're just going to have fun with it. Ooh, I can't see. I can't see. Beautiful. Dude, this is too chill. Come around here. Beautiful work. Yeah, I think if we just... Because the problem is we can't really hit straight lines without stopping and restarting and turning around and stuff like that. So I think just keeping it going the whole time is going to be our best case scenario. Keep constant movement happening. We can still kind of divvy it up into certain areas. Like I say, this this should be a cutoff area right here. So let's get this thing turned. And then we can we can just kind of do little little loops here. I don't know, like this this mower is, it's nice. I think it's something we're just gonna have to get used to, but it, it's it's also kind of like a little bit, a little bit sketch. Kind of like not not my favorite to, to actually use. I wonder if the simpler one would, would be a little bit better. We're gonna be finishing up this side here in a moment. We've got a, a weird area right here that we're gonna have to, have to take care of. Slowly but surely, we're getting the job done. We're gonna watch out for like that little, little patch right here next to us. Gotta make sure we're not leaving even that around we want to be fully 100 percent professional with our mowing quality you know when it said you had four minutes for your ground walk and then you had 30 minutes to mow the lawn i was thinking you know in game time no in a game like this like that that's that's real time like i could i could literally go out and mow my yard in the time that it takes to mow a yard in this Ooh, you damaged the ground a fine has been included so if we run over the same area in the lawn too many times or maybe go too fast or like there's a little hill and we, you know, bottom out, which my mowers do all the time at my house and it drives me absolutely crazy, then we could potentially mess things up. Interesting. All right. We got to work on that professionalism, Trev. We can't can't be having that happen. I'm trying to figure out what our best way to do it is. I mean, I don't think doing hard circles like this is... <laughs> is the best but it this thing i mean it's decent at turning but not not fantastic it's it's kind of hard to, to get the lines going i would almost rather prefer a push mower because you can you can like pivot them like pick it up and pivot them you know what i mean i'm gonna try swap it to a controller here i think i think that might help a lot we also we were getting like some weird some weird action with the mouse all over the screen the, the cursor was showing up when we didn't want it yeah this this may actually be better. I feel like I have smoother controls over the uh, panning of the camera as well. Definitely want to try to make this as smooth as possible. So here, let's let's try to set let's try to set this up. Don't want to leave any little stragglers behind. I'm gonna get us a nice nice straight path through here. And then, oop, oop, see, we're going a little bit too too fast. Okay, gotta watch out for that. And then we can we can start trying to trying to run straight lines. You don't really see where your lines are like you do in real life in this game it's just kind of like there's there's cut area and uncut area that's what she said we're, we're just gonna find whatever tickles our fancy here we're just i mean honestly one of the the best options might be to just go like keep following the same path around and and just keep doing our thing so come around like this and then just keep keep running circles 
I messed it up in this this section right there. We're not gonna be able to keep it nice and smooth. Same with this over here. So if we if we were to stay with our original pathway all the way through all of it, I, I think it could have potentially been a little bit better. And then we could do you know circles around the little garden beds and stuff. Obviously, want to make sure we're taking care of it. I wish we had some sort of a like a cruise control so we don't get up into the two two crazy RPMs. But I guess that wouldn't work because you're going over different types of ground and hills and stuff like that so can't get too aggressive this is way better with a controller i did notice that our last time through we had quite a bit in here that we could tackle we get up on our patio try to reverse this bad boy get it through there beautiful trying to make this a little bit less of a crazy corner so we can start getting around it in the future but there's some little pieces we got to get before we can make that turn looking pretty good so far bring it around this way shoot dude we're, we're missing all kinds of little little segments i don't know that this this mower is kind of interesting i don't know if it's my favorite i feel like once once we really get the hang of it which we're already kind of starting to it might might do better but uh it's definitely not my favorite to start things off here it's gonna be kind of fun let's do like a little circle circle around this flower bed don't run into the flowers kind of getting pieces of them but staying true we could do a slightly wider circle all the way out to keep it going it's all about that precision and that smoothness baby slow is smooth and smooth is fast learned that in quite a few video games typically ones with a bit more strategy than this one but i mean it's it's got strategy we've got 12 minutes left we're about 81 percent done the last little patch here beautiful just got to be careful we, we really can't be like changing directions and running over the same spot a lot you've, you've got to really think about what you're going to do and that last segment right there, instead of, of trying to turn around, we actually went backwards, which I guess kind of kind of works. Might give us some slightly cleaner lines, just takes a little bit more finesse. It's also slower than doing all one big pass. And that was actually not, not too bad right there. I think we missed a little spot right here, and then I did see we had a spot over here. I mean, this, this would not look that great if we did have the mowing lawns, but the fact that we don't have mowing lawns means we can we can just kind of go wherever we want. So let's just keep this up. We're going to do another circle around the flower bed. Watch out for Grandma Ma's flowers here. Don't cut it too close. Don't put any ruts in the flower bed. Should be good. Going to go outside a little bit, be able to get some of these little stragglers. Just keep it in one nice fluid motion. Change up our view. Yeah, controller was definitely the way to go. This guy there. These segments we could try to turn around. I could do little things like this. I have a spot to turn around here. I don't like the stopping abruptly and, and turning and, and cranking the wheel. I, I think I think that's where most of our ruts are coming from. We've got another little one right here, it looks like. I think we really need to keep it slow and smooth, which is easier said than done. One last little patch here. I'm thinking maybe some, some forward and back action. Might be in order. Ooh. Went the wrong way there. My bad. We're good. We're good. We're good. Shoot. Left the scraggler. Come on, Trev. Cut it complete. You now need to drive the trailer back to leave the location. If you have time left, you could use it to clean up any grass clippings you may have left in the past to avoid any clean up fees. Interesting. All right. So we're at 99% here, but I, I like to go the extra mile. I like, I like to truly get it all done for our wonderful fantastic customers so let me make sure i got that looks like we have some some little itty bitty pieces along in here but we don't want to get too close to the bushes so you got to be careful about that just gonna go ahead and bring this guy onto the trailer i think uh we drove it straight off right so we want to back it on in Let's back this guy up nicely done the old nook cottage has been completed not bad for our first job we did leave a couple of little ruts and stuff in the yard we did cut it a little bit close to some of the plants i hope we're gonna have other tools like i hope we can weed whack i hope we can trim some trees stuff like that in the main game i'm not sure if if that's gonna be the case but uh, 
would definitely be pretty cool. Okay, so we got a time bonus on the ground check. Ground check earnings. Cutting time bonus. Looks like we lost a little bit of money on collisions as well as some ground damage. 26 cents to be able to fix that, that thing. I think where we lost the most money was when we ran into their little archway. But uh, hey, we made 328 bucks. We used some fuel, some blades, some engine. Wear and tear on the vehicle. Interesting. All right. Vehicles in the garage. You can fix damaged vehicles. View stats. Purchase attachments. Part exchange or purchase new ones. First, though, see if we can maintain this bad boy. Full repair is going to be seven bucks. Let's do that. Engine repair is going to be $1.82. Blade repair is going to be two forty two. Got to sharpen those bad boys up and add a little bit of fuel for 200 and, or two, 200, 210 pennies. Sure. Technically not pennies because it's in pounds, but you guys know what I mean. What What's a penny in, in you know, pound sense? I'm... I'm I'm not sure. All right, so we're good to go there. The night's in, in good shape. Let's go ahead and accept that. And uh, Moho and Blow is, is looking fantastic. So our first career job is down. First contract is down. Can we uh, can we add more contracts? Looks like we've got a garden at the Kingsbury house for $345. If you guys want to see that, let me know. Again, like I said, we're, we're kind of in early access here. So we aren't going to be able to go too far into this thing. I don't want to spoil too much, but I wouldn't be against checking it out. So hope you guys enjoyed. Drop a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out.